Attorney General. We just saw Philadelphia, the mayor, celebrate the status of sanctuary, of being a sanctuary city. What message is that sending out to the rest, to their to constituents and as well as uh, to other communities across the country? Marcy, thank you, and thank you very much for the privilege of being able to be here today. Uh, first of all, I'm grateful for an administration that's willing to look at the law enforcement that's here to be able to say thank you because you don't hear that very often. Uh, many times law enforcement bands together in tragedy, uh, but you don't necessarily have people come up and to be able to say thank you. And as somebody who is a chief law enforcement officer of a state in which a 13-year-old girl with autism was beheaded as a result of the cartel wanting to make a statement through somebody that was here illegally or a woman who was killed in a car accident with a person that was here twice deported and then ran from law enforcement when they left or a young child that was recently molested as a result of somebody who crossed the border illegally. You need to know that those stories would be far more frequent were you not doing your job and doing it well and so very grateful for that. The Sanctuary Cities issue is critical for us. General Wilson is here. He and I and others have stood for this idea that the rule of law matters in this country. That to the extent that Congress sets policy, that we have an obligation to be able to enforce that law fairly and impartially. And to the extent that cities say that we're going to avoid the law, that we're going to ignore valid warrants, that we're not going to allow for law enforcement to be able to do their jobs, then what we've done is to be able to create safe havens for those who would do things criminally to know that they've got a place where they can do it without law enforcement becoming engaged. And we don't believe that's right. And so that we will stand together as attorney generals across the country that believe very strongly in this issue to be able to say not only do we support this administration in saying we should be able to withhold funds from those cities who want to say they want to avoid their obligation both under state and federal law, but that we're going to band together to be able to say that those cities are making the rest of us unsafe. And so grateful for the fact that this administration recognizes that issue, that we've seen both the Department of Justice as well as the executive branch through President Trump to be able to say that won't be tolerated. The good thing is we get to stand with you. And I'm grateful for General Wilson and what his leadership for us with the Republican AGs and others that are wanting to stand together to say that the rule of law is important in this country, that it is really that line between order and chaos. And we're going to continue to do our job to make sure that we enforce it fairly.